While global public attention is focused on the artificial intelligence race, trade wars, and the US-China confrontation, behind the scenes of the technology industry, a process is unfolding that in the long term may prove far more significant than another round of sanctions or a new stock market record. This concerns NVIDIA, the world's most valuable technology corporation and the undisputed leader in AI computing, which according to sources is increasingly moving beyond its familiar image as a chip manufacturer and preparing for a step capable of permanently changing the very architecture of urban transportation. Few outside a narrow circle of specialists and insiders realize that for several years, NVIDIA has been systematically investing not only in data centers, supercomputers, and AI models, but also in so-called physical AI, systems that control real objects in the physical world, from autonomous vehicles and industrial robots to unmanned aerial vehicles. It is in this context that in recent months the name of Joby Aviation has been appearing more and more often, one of the most advanced developers of electric vertical takeoff aircraft, which officially collaborates with NVIDIA, but, according to sources, has long been part of a much larger and more strategic plan. According to several industry publications and analysts familiar with internal discussions, the partnership between NVIDIA and Joby Aviation has long gone beyond a formal exchange of technologies. Publicly, the focus is on computing platforms, AI chips, and software for autonomous control. But sources claim that in reality, NVIDIA is effectively creating the brain of the world's first mass-market autonomous flying transport. At the core of this approach lies an idea that until recently seemed like science fiction, transferring the logic of autonomous driving from the ground to the air, but at a fundamentally new level of reliability, fault tolerance, and computational power. The flying taxi in question is not simply an oversized drone, but a full-fledged autonomous system capable of analyzing thousands of environmental parameters in real time, from air flows and weather conditions to the movement of other aircraft, ground infrastructure, and even human behavior at landing sites. According to insiders, the architecture of this aircraft is built around a next-generation NVIDIA AI platform, where multiple computing modules simultaneously process data from cameras, LIDARs, radars, inertial sensors, and satellite navigation systems, forming a unified representation of reality. The artificial intelligence does not merely react to external conditions, but constantly predicts how situations will develop tens of seconds ahead, making decisions that in traditional aviation would require the involvement of an experienced pilot. This is why, sources say, NVIDIA's leadership increasingly speaks not about auxiliary systems or pilot assistance, but about fully autonomous transport, in which a human is not initially envisioned as a mandatory element of control. Of particular interest is information that inside the company, the discussion has long focused not just on demonstrating the technology, but on scaling it to the level of urban transportation. According to signals coming from Silicon Valley investment circles, NVIDIA is betting on a radical reduction in the cost of such aircraft through the unification of the AI platform, mass production of computing modules, and deep software integration. In other words, the company wants to replicate what it has already done with graphics processors and AI accelerators, turning a complex and expensive technology into an industry standard. Sources claim that the Flying Taxi project is designed from the outset with mass adoption in mind, not as an elite service for billionaires, but as affordable urban transportation for residents of megacities, comparable in cost to regular taxi rides or car sharing. Against this backdrop, statements are increasingly heard that 2026 could become the moment of a public breakthrough. Several authoritative publications, citing sources within the management of partner companies, report that NVIDIA is allegedly preparing to unveil the first real prototype of an autonomous flying taxi built entirely around its AI platform. This is not about concept art or computer visualization, but about an aircraft capable of performing autonomous flights in real-world conditions. It is emphasized that the demonstration may be timed to coincide with one of the largest technology events or a closed presentation for regulators and investors, which in itself speaks to the seriousness of the company's intentions. At the same time, 
there is extremely little official information about the device's specifications, which only fuels interest. However, analysts agree that the key parameters will be range, noise levels, safety, and economic efficiency. According to sources, the aircraft will be fully electric, with optimized aerodynamics and fast charging capability, while noise levels during takeoff and landing are expected to be significantly lower than those of traditional helicopters. This is critically important for cities, where any new forms of transport face strict environmental and social constraints. It is precisely here, experts believe, that NVIDIA is leveraging its computing power. AI will be able to optimize flight modes and energy consumption in real time, reducing component wear and increasing the overall service life of the aircraft. Of particular interest are rumors about a possible strategic move that would have seemed unbelievable just a few years ago. Namely, a potential acquisition of Joby Aviation or its deep integration into NVIDIA's structure. According to analysts, if the flying taxi project proves viable, NVIDIA could take a radical step and effectively become a vertically integrated player in a new industry. This would mean that the company controls not only the brain and software, but also the flying transport platform itself, gaining a colossal advantage over competitors. In such a scenario, NVIDIA would transform from a technology supplier into a monopolist of a new transportation ecosystem, where every aircraft, every route, and every flight depends on its AI platform. Experts emphasize that such a move fits perfectly into the company's long-term strategy. NVIDIA has long ceased to be just a chip manufacturer. It is building an ecosystem in which its technologies become the foundation for entire industries, from data centers and robotics to autonomous transport. In this sense, flying taxis appear as a logical continuation, a market that is only beginning to form but is potentially valued at hundreds of billions of dollars. And if NVIDIA manages to secure a dominant position at an early stage, the consequences of this decision will be felt for decades. This is why more and more insiders are speaking of 2026 as a turning point. Even if it does not involve the immediate launch of a mass service, but rather a technology demonstration and the start of pilot programs, the very appearance of a real autonomous flying taxi on NVIDIA's platform could change the attitude of regulators, investors, and city authorities worldwide. It would signal that the future of urban transportation is no longer limited to roads and rails, and that artificial intelligence is ready to take control not only of cars, but also of the airspace above megacities. In this sense, 2026 may indeed go down in history as the moment when the flying vehicle industry ceased to be an experiment and began to turn into a new norm, with NVIDIA as the company that made this transition possible.